Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm going to review this Android car navigation. It is 8.1 Android. So for example, we just turn on our car and this is going to turn on and you will see that it's going direct to, to the map as I said before. So you can see this is the first screen and then it goes direct to the navigation there, to the Google map navigation. Okay, so this uh, Android car navigation, the first button here, it's the power button, home button, back button, volume up and the volume down. And then we have got a hole for microphone and reset button if the sat nav does not work. On the interface, we have got the timer, which I haven't set it at the moment. Now, this side we have got Navi, which is Google Map. We have got radio, I have not connected as well, music for Bluetooth and uh, setting. So if I click Navi, it goes to Google Map. It's not pre-installed, so you need to, to install the map yourself. You need to connect first to the internet and then install. You can install any map from Google, Google Play. Right, I'm going to cancel that by pressing here and cancel that. I'm going to show you the radio. I've not connected the radio. So this is music, uh, if you've got a USB connected, for example, I've connected wire here, which I can connect uh, my USB and then I can download my music inside. So you can see that there's no file of music here. It says there's no media. And this is just uh, the normal like play, random. If you want to set uh, the subwoofer classic jazz and everything i'm gonna cancel it by using the up button here and go back to setting so here is the setting sound setting is on the top here you can set your sound which is uh, jazz pop and other things system information it is for the sat nav itself it gives you like it is android and the license and other things this is factory setting and uh the password it is uh, 8888 but it doesn't work I've tried it several times it won't reset and here it's the car setting so the car setting you need to have the harness you will be able to set this but because I haven't got so there's nothing here you can see and it's a no original vehicle function so the Android setting it takes you to like Wi-Fi to set your Wi-Fi, you can set uh, anything just like a tablet. So go to setting and you'll see that the Wi-Fi setting, data usage, sound notification, USB. You can click here if you have collect, uh, connected your USB so it will show what apps are available. At the moment I haven't got anything. Everything is uh, uh, preset. It came with it and these are the apps which uh, are pre-installed. Region like Bluetooth and other, other stuff and uh, we were on setting go back to setting again and uh, this is the gps detection we have got the antenna connected already so this is the strength which we get this is the volume setting as well you can set the volume for the media you can silence all sound on top here call mixing ratio default setting everything it is there we have brightness setting here you can set the brightness but i i do it full because uh, it's difficult to see during the day and this is the navigation setting so you can see here i click this tick to say that boot start so when my android device start it will come direct to the to the sat nav so i don't need to to click sat nav i like to leave it like this steering wheel learning because i haven't got the harness so i'm not able to set this button at the moment here you can set your logo these are the lo logo which has been installed here you can find your logo to start and there is radio setting and uh, we have other setting like a uh, floating bar this is just a uh, the screening i mean when your android turns on we did 
talk about the first screen. You can swap a screen, but uh, there's nothing here. So it's just like an uh, Android device. Now, this is where you can find all your apps inside. Our apps here, it is ra radio, Bluetooth. You can set the Bluetooth here. So, for example, I have already connected my phone and uh, I can dial from here any number and ring. So you can hear the phone and my phone is connected as well. And uh, the other one is uh, music. Here, it's the music. We have talked about that already. And uh, this is the Navi. This is video. If you've got any video on USB, you can also uh, uh, connect them with the USB device. This is car setting. I have not connected this because I don't have the proper harness for that. And this is Alvin Evin setting. It says Evin setting, but uh, it's actually it is AV in. So when you uh, connect that, uh, I don't know. You can see like aux if, if auxiliary device has been connected or other input. You can do that, but. Uh, uh, let's say that uh, other input okay auxiliary device and apply but uh, as long as I haven't connected any any of those device so it doesn't bother me much and we have got a calculator just like Android to do your calculation here and uh, we've got calendar which is good things also you can put uh, your diary on the car and you can remember and uh, also, okay, cancel that. Uh, just cancel that. And then we, the other things, we have the setting, which we have already accessed before, like factory setting, factory setting, sorry, Android setting and uh, other settings. So come out from that and I'm going to swap to the other screen. The other screen, we have got uh, Google Chrome. You can see this is uh, connecting to the internet. Right, so you can see here. Download. I have not downloaded anything, so there's nothing inside here. This is file manager, like Android device. And uh, it shows you the internal storage and other things. Here we've got the manual, which is not very helpful. And this is the map, if you want to access the map from here. Uh, you, we have, if you have got a camera, USB camera, you can connect it. And uh, like those uh, camera, PC camera, you can still connect it and you can use it as an onboard camera. And you can still record from here. But uh, I haven't got any USB camera at the moment. So here we have phone link. So the phone link, when you connect it to the phone link, this is the screen you're going to get. We have Android USB, Android Wi-Fi. If you want to connect uh, uh, like a portable device, iPhone, there's a code here, messaging and other things. And uh, if you want to get more information, you just click about here and it shows you how to connect uh, your device. Here it is YouTube and our Play Store is here where you can download more apps, more maps and other things but you need to get good internet connection or you can connect to your portable device. Now, I've got my phone here which uh, I'm going to run a quick connection for the Bluetooth. You can hear that it is connected. I will try to use my portable, which is device. I'm going here into my phone and uh, more option. 
and tethering portable hotspots okay first I need uh, to turn on the my data and then portable hotspot so it's on now and I'm going to connect it uh, by using the same place here let's go setting more and right this is mine and uh, I'm trying to guess my password might be uh, right now it's connected to the internet and uh, quick uh, just sat nav I'm going to go to the to the map just quick or oh, I can go to Play Store to show you how quick uh, it is now you can see I've installed new sat nav here new Android uh, sat nav okay so despite me connecting this uh, sat nav I have not lost uh, my information from here because uh, I have used everything I mean uh, I have not used the the harness which came with uh, I mean which I bought from eBay I've just connected the uh, power from some from somewhere inside secret lighter and uh, I've taken the back speaker so the original radio has nothing to do with my navigation and it's still working I still have a steering wheel control for the previous you can see there because if uh, I connect new harness I'm gonna lose all this information including the air condition so I won't be able to do anything for example I won't be able to see the air condition setting and other things So if this video helps you, please uh, put a comment down and like it and share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.